Hey guys, I thought I'd get on here real quick and shoot a June favorites video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, my setup's a little crazy right now because my light boxes are somewhere where I can't get them. So I'm sitting in the foyer of our house and I have some ceiling lighting from a, <laughs> a skylight and yeah, so sorry about the lighting and everything. But anyway, so um, yeah, June. <sighs> June was my birth birthday month, so that was fun. And I did a, a full video on this, um, and this bracelet I got um, from metalpressions.com. I'm gonna link everything below. If you guys wanna check them out, They're, it's an amazing company. And I love my bracelet, in case you guys haven't seen it yet. It says, whoop, Mark plus Eli plus Eden equals heart times infinity. So I've been wearing this thing nonstop. I've slept in it, I sleep in it, I take showers in it. I just love it so much. Okay, so that's number one. Let's see, this is just kind of bath and shower related. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but it's a new Caress Fine Fragrance. Uh, it's a long lasting, unforgettable fragrance released on touch. I call this the scratch and sniff soap. <laughs> and this fragrance, this one's called Love Forever. They also have one that's, I think it's love indoor or something like that but it's like pink instead of red here now i just got that one and i just today was my first day using it so we'll see how that i can't put that in a favorites because obviously i just started using it but let me see yeah i can smell that the the new one the, the pink one i think doesn't have as much fragrance but it still smells really good it smells so good Mm, it's, I don't even know how to explain it, but it has these little like micro crystal things in them. I mean, you can't feel it or anything. It's like kind of shimmery. And when literally, like you could smell your arm, you don't really smell anything. But when you touch, when you do this, you can smell it. It's so cool. <laughs> so, and um, I know this probably isn't the best stuff for your skin, <laughs> but from somebody who has extremely sensitive skin, this does not bother me at all. And I thought it would. I had sample, a uh, few samples that I got and I was like, oh, I'm afraid to try it, but it smells really good, let me try it. And let me tell you, it's really good. So, and it says it has a 12 hour fragrance, fragrance release. Now, I don't, after you know a while I forget about it so I don't know if it actually works up to 12 hours and I generally take my shower at night before bed but this morning I showered so I'll try to see if I can remember 12 hours later okay so that's that next product is um, it's Gillette satin care with a touch of Olay shave gel with shea butter and I've been using this stuff for oh, probably a year. I mean, but I keep forgetting to mention it. And I, I have really sensitive skin. My husband, I actually got him to use it too, and he loves it. Now I have, um, I know I've mentioned this before, but I have psoriasis on my legs. Um, like I'd, I'd say, 80% of my legs are covered and I mean I'm talking from mid thigh all the way to, to the feet covered so shaving is a chore um, but I have to keep my legs shaved if I don't the hairs cause flare-ups like really you know so anyway shaving is important but it's also can be painful and this stuff is the best. I don't feel the razor. It is so smooth and silky. <sighs> love it. Love it. Love it. You guys got to try it. And it smells really nice. It has a light fragrance. I don't even know what to say. I mean, and then after you rinse it off, your legs are so silky smooth. 
So I highly recommend that. And I want to mention, oh, this is so funny. So my mom and I went to the mall for my birthday. She wanted to pick me up something. And we've, um, I, know what, I knew what I wanted and that's coming up next, but we went into Lush because I wanted to get the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub, which I did get and I love this stuff. Oh my gosh. Now I have the, is it the Elf? Is it Elf? Yeah, I think it's e.l.f. That lip scrubby thing, it comes in like a lipstick. And I do like that and I use that sometimes, I use this sometimes. But this one seems to be just a little less um, abrasive. It's just the perfect amount of abrasiveness. So this, oh, this is so good. You just put a little bit on your lip and you can eat it. It's so delicious. <laughs> It's like kind of like a, like a chocolatey mint. It's really good. So, and they have another uh, flavor. They have, oh, popcorn and bubble gum or something. And I just think that's gross. So, this one is the best. And this one retails, uh, this retails for $10. And I think it's, it's worth every penny. Now, this is something you can probably make at home just using sugar and, you know, whatever, peppermint oil and, but whatever. And this was made by Max. <laughs> so while we were in Lush, these guys are such good salespeople. So crazy. They're like, oh, come over. Oh, let's, you know, have you ever tried this and that? And they had my mom and I sitting down and they had a tub of water and they're <laughs> doing salt scrubs and all this stuff. And, you know, I mentioned that I had psoriasis on my legs and, you know, it's hard for me to find stuff that that I like and that I have sensitive skin and whatnot. Well, they, I mean, I'm telling you, people can sell me anything. I'm just such a sucker, but I am so glad they, they talked me into this because this is the Dream Cream Hand and Body Lotion. This is the self-preserving. Um, they have one that has preservatives and it has like parabens and stuff. I was like, no, and, but this one, this is amazing. It has all. It has oat milk, organic extra er, uh, virgin olive oil, rose water, um, cocoa butter, like tea tree oil, lavender oil, chamomile. It's the stuff is amazing. And apparently, the people that uh, started Lush, the company. The, the guy, his son had really severe eczema as a child and so they made this product for their son and it worked great for them and I'm like, hey, you know what, let me try it. Oh, it smells so good. It's really thick and luxurious. Mm, I love it and I've been using it on my skin and it's really helping my psoriasis. And just, I mean, I have really dry skin and it's it's really helping. So I think this was, I think it was like $26, which is quite a bit, but it's worth it. And this, this tub will go a long way. So, dream cream. <sighs> Guys, awesome. Okay, so what I had my mom buy me for my birthday was my next product, which is the Cover FX Drops. And I'm gonna try really hard not to drop them because it, this will break. Uh, I got the color G20, color FX drops. And if you guys, here, let me just show you the color real quick. Okay, so this I believe is the lightest color that they have and it is nice and warm. It has very yellow golden undertones, which is what I am. And what it is, is just a concentrated pigment. And you can put the drops in a moisturizer, your favorite sunscreen. If you have foundations that are too dark and you know you don't really want to throw away the foundation, you can, or too light and you need to darken them, whatever. You can use it in anything. You can use them in BB creams and, and it gives you like a fuller coverage and it's amazing. 
I really like it. I've been using, today I used them in, I think my L'Oreal Infallible, um, the matte, pro matte, whatever, foundation, because it's a little, it was a little dark for me, so I put like three drops in and it lightened it up and it, it's given me really full coverage. I've used them in moisturizer, it works really well. I use them in um, a BB cream that tends to be a little bit too dark because BB creams, for some reason, they just look really orange on me. So it's really good. And now it's a little pricey. I think it was like $42, um, but it's gonna go a long way and it will give new life to all these things. You know, if you, like especially for summer, you can use them in you know a sunscreen and make a foundation. It's just they're it's a really cool product. So that I've been loving, and um, the ColourPop Metamorphosis Be the Change Quad, and this was a collaboration with Coffee Break with Danny, and I love this quad. So beautiful. I'm gonna insert a close-up picture here. This one is Bravery, and I swatched it right here. It's a really beautiful brown. Really pretty brown. Okay. And there is Strength, which is a beautiful, like, transition color. Love this one. And that is right there. Okay, and the next two colors are, what, what does she call them? Oh, I forget the word she uses. It takes like an, a base and transforms it into something else. So this one is called Kindness. And this is a beautiful oh, duo, triple chrome, whatever. It has so many different colors in it. Um, I love it. And then this one is Hope. Same principle with this one. Oh, I can't even get the idea of it. Like, it's so gorgeous. It has like pink, purple gorgeousness in it. Um, now these are limited edition, but as far as I know, they're still available. So you guys need to jump on this because, wow, these things are awesome. This is the Morphe Elite Collection brushes. Now, I only got three of them and I really want all of them because they're so amazing. Um, this one, now they're a little dirty because I've been using them, but this is the Morphe E2 and this is the big old powder brush. There is one that's bigger, which I really like. But it's so soft, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh, love it. And then this one is the E3 and this one is a really cool like tapered, a uh, brush. I like to use this one for highlight because it really gets that upper, like the you know high points there. So amazing. And then this one is a Morphe E23, and this is a um, blending brush for the eyes. And this one gets in there and just does a wonderful job. So I really highly recommend these. Get them while you still can. And lips, we have my favorite, like. What I'm wearing right now is this combination, which I've really been loving. I have the MAC Pencil in Soar. Really love Soar. I know you guys have probably seen this a million times. It's coming off more orange, but it's not. It's like a, it's, it's a mauve pink brown. It's really pretty. Love it. And then I've been pairing it with the new uh, this is the Maybelline Creamy Mattes. I got some of the new colors. And this one is number 657 Nude Nuance. So they go really, really well together. And, oh, these are a new find for me. Um, they're called Kiss My Honey Lip Balm. These are so amazing. I got this in a, it's a set of four and it came with two mint and two chocolate flavored. 
love them. Kiss my honey. It's just a regular, mm, just a regular lip balm, but it is organic. It's all natural. The ingredients, um, organic coconut oil, organic beeswax, organic shea butter, organic sweet almond oil, vitamin E, organic peppermint oil, organic grapefruit extract. And it's cruel, cruelty free. And same thing with this one, but instead of uh, peppermint, it has um, natural chocolate flavor. So, and they last a long time on your lips and it's just oh, amazing. So I'm gonna keep two of these and I'm gonna be putting one of each, the one of the chocolate, one of the mint in with my giveaway, which I'm gonna be doing soon. I know I keep saying it, but I really am. <laughs> Okay, and the last product, sorry this video is probably really long, but it's this beautiful nail polish from Zoya. It's called Charisma, and it's coming off more pink on this camera, but it's a very vibrant magenta purple pink, and it's just so gorgeous. There you go. Yeah, the camera doesn't do it justice, but now I'm having a love-hate relationship with this because <laughs> the formula of this one isn't like the typical cream formula from Zoya. It is a, I don't even know, it's like it dries matte, so and it dries very fast, so you got to be really quick with it. And so, I mean, I put a top coat on it, but it dries really matte, which I don't have a problem with. Um, the, the problem that I have is it chips really easily and that drives me insane and I have lots of Zoya nail polishes and most of them stay on for a really long time but this one I don't know why I have tried different bottom coats I mean I have the Zoya bottom coat and the Zoya top coat I have different you know I've ordered a couple more bottom coats base coats just because I want this color to work so bad. I haven't found anything like it. So yeah, that drives me a little bonkers, but, um, but oddly enough, it lasts a long time on my toes. So maybe I'll just use it as a toenail color. I don't know. Um, yeah. And then the last thing, and I don't know if I talked, I thought that was the last thing. I forgot the mascara. I don't know if I've talked about this in my last favorites, but I've really been loving the, um, L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Carbon Black. Love it. Still love it. It's awesome. I even have samples of the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. I don't like that one and everybody loves it and I just can't. I can't do it. It's like, I get panda eyes. It's crazy. But this one, I love. And for the bottom lashes, I mean, I have crazy, crazy long eyelashes and this one just gets in there without making a big old mess and... Yeah, so love it. And that's it. Holy moly, I finally did it. Got them all out there. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, so thanks for watching. And I'm going to list everything below for you if you're interested. And it's been real. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get my lights back and be all good. All right, guys. Love you. God bless. Bye.